All right, well, today's video, we are going to 3D print a roller, a window guide roller for our 74 Cutlass. And this one's already, the other one's installed and, and working. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is obviously the hand-drawn sketch of the part. And in a second, you'll see the Fusion 360 digital version of that. So all these measurements were made with calipers and then uh, transferred into Fusion 360. Now, I actually use digital calipers. Um, this is just an old manual pair and a lot of times I use these when I don't need to be um, specific but you know of course got all my got all my measurements from this and the ball stud um, you know that's that's inside here if I can find there we go so you know the all the all the parts of You know these these me these really critical measurements up here um, uh, got with the uh, with the calipers, and actually, I mean all the uh, you know all the all the measurements of this uh, you know came from came from this original part. Here is the Fusion three sixty view and version of the part which is pretty cool my good friend john actually took all the measurements that you saw from the drawing and transferred it into fusion 360 i need to learn how to use this and <laughs> haven't gotten to that point yet but it's it's pretty cool what you can you know what you can do with this and the fact that when you're done you, know, you can spit out a actual part. So um, let's take a look uh, at that. Quick time lapse of the part being printed. Watch closely. Now again, I had my buddy John print that... Um, roller and uh, anyhow he's I just wanted to show what the little setup looks like and he's and this is one of his other ones he's got several of these printers so he is really into this really good at this loves to just measure and make stuff um, so these are some brackets he's making for his uh, deck railings um, so that's what that looks like when it's in use. How's that for special effects? So this is the actual uh, one of two of the of the uh, parts that uh, John had printed for me and he printed one in PETG which is what this is and this is actually pushed on the ball stud as you can see and this is in ABS plastic. Here's the original one. There we go. <laughs> so what was cool is when the thing broke uh, it broke in two nice, uh, clean pieces. So that is what all of that looks like on the inside. So there's the original one. And he actually printed what he found out is it shrinks a little bit. Um, so he had to actually make these, um, a little bigger. Um, and then it shrinks back down when it, um, when it cools. So, um, well, time to go get this installed. Okay, so you can see there is my fabricated window roller and guide um, that I made over the winter. 
winter time and I need to uh, I want to try and get that out without having because I've got the window adjusted and, and working you know just just like I'd like it to so here's the side view of that so I want to try and get that out without taking the window loose because I've got everything adjusted just like I want it to. So I want to get that out and see if I can get this in. And I think it'll I think it'll work. So let's see what happens. Alright so if your original window roller breaks this will be, of course, off, and so all you'll have is the ball stud. All of this stuff will be out of there, and you could probably grab this, uh, grab this with vice grips with it in place to unscrew it um, from these pieces here. That's what goes on the, uh, that's coming through the glass back through that way, and then you've got this on the on the front so you could probably change this roller out without um taking all this apart because as you see i'm sliding this out of the bottom here so there is my fabricated uh guide which is you know worked fine gotta get um gotta get this apart so i can get this Oops, so I can get this part and this spring uh, on this side of it. Which means, now that I'm looking at it, um, I might need to pop that roller back off. Um, darn, yeah, I think I'm going to have to pop that roller off to get the um, spring in there. I sure am. Darn. <laughs> Oh, no. All right, well, it's no big deal, but it's an extra step. Well, a small oops just happened getting this apart so I could get the spring on there. Um, obviously, I had all this together and put it in this... Um, had this together, you know, because it was together and had it, put it in here and hit it with a punch. And uh, so, what I said earlier in the video, um, well, use caution. <laughs> John got it to work, but when I tried it, you know, because this part wasn't supported, um, yeah, it just blasted it apart, but it is kind of cool. You get to see what the 3D printing looks like on the inside of it so um, it's okay um, I could show you how I'll pop it together with the other one he made out of pet G remember this was ABS so had to come apart anyhow to get that spring back on there okay now we've got all the right parts in all the right orders and good thing we had our spare this is the one made out of pet G and the other one um, could actually you know, this could just be uh, a backup. I'll have him print out another one. But, you know, if you got yourself in a bind, you could uh, JB weld all this stuff back together. And it would be just fine. Uh, but anyhow, so I've got my assembly back together. And I've got this. Uh, this is what goes on the back side of the glass. Uh, so I got that on there to protect it. Uh, protect my threads so I've got my spring I've got my inner guide on and let's see if we can gently push this together it is taking some force so I did lube that up too. I 
I think that's through. I'm just expecting it to pop. Let me see. Is it through? Yeah, it's through. I was expecting it to make a expecting it to make a popping sound, but it is all back together. Again, I was kind of expecting to, you know, it to all of a sudden just get easy, but it just kind of just pushed right through. So I'm glad I kind of stopped when I did. You can see that. All right, so there we go. You know, that is loose and swiveling on the ball. So this ought to work really good. This ought to be just as good as new. Yeah, let's get this assembled. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is feed this up from the bottom, from the opening. I've got this, this loosened up. The adjustments are still intact up on top. Um, but I think my hands and my shoulder and everything else is going to be in the way, and I do expect some kind of struggle, but <laughs> so I'll film the, the after effects. Well, actually, this slid up nice and easy um, from the bottom of the guide rail. Um, just put, put it right at the bottom, and the guide rail um, just kind of wedged it open in between the roller and uh, this this back inner guide uh, and so I mean there's no good way for me to <laughs> show that except that there it is and of course the rain is coming and I'm working outside so I might have to might have to stop unless I can zip this along really quick so um, here's the inner piece washer that goes goes on there all right so there we go got that to finally pop into place but I wasn't gonna keep doing that with the camera rolling um, if I had light on there I would have seen right away where it needed to be so that's that's all together now and all I need to do is get this up from the back side and it is like really actually raining right now so I might have to abandon abandon ship here yeah okay there we go got looks like got to get that plastic piece in first all right there we go So I'll have to get behind there with something to grab that and tighten it. And of course I'll have to tighten my, get my rail tightened back in. But there we go. Look at that. There we go. Functions <laughs> as designed. Okay, so what I did to uh, finish tightening that in is go ahead and get some needle nose vice grips and go ahead and grab on grab on your end of the ball stud there and get your hand up and behind so you can feel whether the piece on the back is you know make sure it's staying still. And then just you know, don't get crazy. You know when it when it's when it stops, kind of under just a nice easy pressure. Um, you know, stop. We don't need to go busting glass. So um, you know, that's how you do that. Now look at that. It goes up and down, nice and smooth. Honestly, as good as new because that piece was 3D printed to the, uh, you know, to the dimensions of the original one. Look at how smooth that works, you know? Honestly, you know, it, uh, it, wor it works right, you know, well, <laughs> you know, this one worked okay, 
there was a little bit of you would kind of catch a little bit didn't uh, I mean it didn't bind but it was right on the verge of it so um, you know that goes up and down nice and smooth well hope you enjoyed this video on how to 3d print a window guide roller for your cutlass or for anything for that matter I mean whatever you got you know if, especially if the parts are not available after market um, if you've got your original piece, the broken pieces, you can uh, use those measurements and make another one. So, and 3D print. It just takes, once you get it all in there, it takes just, just print it in 11 minutes. So, um, anyhow, hope you enjoyed this and found it useful, informative, entertaining, uh, and that you'll like, subscribe, comment, and share. And... I will see you on the next one. Thank you.